we did a lot of research, which involved us eating all of these different foods. I think the creative team at one day, they just had 20 orders around them and they're like, we can't eat anymore, but I'm like, you have to keep going. It was one of those beautiful research projects where we just got to eat a bunch of delicious food on Postmates. Postmates. This is your brain on sushi. I'm David Kim. Executive Creative Director at Postmates. My name's Biz Anderson and I work in strategy at Mother LA. Harry Butts, Creative Director at Nexus Design Studio. Some of what we've had to do is consider how do we differentiate ourselves even within Uber Eats. Even though we're acquired by Uber, we're still a bit of the challenger brand in the category. They got big, the category got big. We wanted to get small. We got small with the local markets we're going after. We got smaller with the restaurants that we were targeting. Part of the brief was how do we integrate some of our exclusive partners and merchants on our platform into the brand campaign. We took some inspiration from that scene in Ratatouille. He eats this piece of food that sends this rush of memory. We love that notion that a single bite can be that visceral and emotional. Oftentimes when we're eating and experiencing these things that are so visceral and so emotional, we're not even like really privy to it. It's kind of like a subconscious trip or dream state that's happening while we're eating. Humans don't just crave food. They crave a specific dish from a specific restaurant. That kind of led us down this road of not only do we crave specific foods, different foods do different things to your brain. We just wanted to focus on what is that irrational relationship that people have with food. Food is sort of like drugs. They really do something to your brain. That's ultimately how we landed on our tagline, this is your brain on food. It evokes the old 80s, 90s, anti-drug PSA language. This is your brain on drugs. We sort of put our own spin on that by talking about how food does similar things to your brain. This is your brain on donuts. We thought it'd be more interesting to go into this more abstract space and more imaginative world. And that got us to animation. Part of the poll was the ability to play with the imagination a little bit. It meant that we could take a pearl and animate it bouncing gracefully and that grace and beauty becomes the luxury of sushi. We wanted to be able to like tap into a little bit more of the trippiness opposed to making it too realistic. We could push our interpretation of the food in a much more abstract direction. As different foods cause different feelings. We thought those feelings and foods could all be represented with a variety of animation styles as well. It was our job to sort of pair the right medium for the right story. So we kind of ranged from CG to 2D. One of the films was scratched markings into pieces of film. One of the most standout pieces was the claymation piece that was mixed in with painted backgrounds and 2D frame by frame side characters. We were very purposeful around selecting animation styles that felt right for the experience of that particular food. The challenge was to make sure that there was still a coherence through them all, building a graphic system and a way of introducing the food. It created some consistency to anchor the wide variety of videos that we were producing. That was mostly at the start and at the end of each animation. We sent out different surveys and we did qualitative interviews with people based off of their experience with food so that we could actually be able to capture a little bit of a shared experience around something so specific. Coming up with a way to represent the food without showing the food, we kind of focus just on emotion and not the literal experience of what eating the food looks like, because food is like a deeply personal experience. And we're really mapping, how does boba tea make you feel? How does a hot chicken sandwich make you feel? How do we create a little bit of a visceral like bomb that we can just place within a couple seconds? That's why each spot you'll see has so much in it, because we just wanted to hit people with that quick dose of maybe like your first bite of that food. Because in the campaign, we were able to integrate the merchants in a seamless manner. It really functioned well as co-marketing for us and the merchants. And as a result, a lot of restaurants have now been coming to us asking 
to be put into our brand campaign. And we're also getting folks that aren't exclusives more interested in working as an exclusive partner with us, knowing that we're going to be supporting that relationship through great advertising. It's really just like a, a pretty ridiculous experience of making it and wonderfully ridiculous ads too.